All right, I want to show you something. There's this unit here that has a, a tank. When we turn it on and off, that contactor pulls in and out. Here's the thing. That's a 100 amp breaker that's supposed to be to this unit. When you kill it, you still have 120 volts. Because if you look at the schematic, you've got a three-phase system coming in, which is what's on the breaker behind me. And you've got a 120 volt single-phase system. Our contact is pulled in. This one is uh, tagged as custard control. So, kill that. Now I wonder, is that, now we're off, but I wonder if it brings down both of them. Okay, this fuse was blown. I'm in the ground. Before I just put another fuse in, this one runs from here to M7. And when M7 pulls in, it connects there. So I've got a short to ground. This only goes to the condensing unit. So let's hope it's the fan and not the compressor. Look at this beauty. Here's the wires to the condensing unit. I actually don't know why I did it this way. I wouldn't normally do it this way, but I just had the hunkering to. Look, no shorts to ground. I got a, I got a good ground. It's not in here. It's not in here. Which means it's in one of these wires. Sorry. There it is. There's my short to ground. This white wire. Of course, this white wire is not numbered. Well, let's chase it. All right, I think the short is in the contactor and I think it's intermittent. But um, I set up a little popper in lieu of a fuse so I can go component by component, see what happens. So, tank on. Tank is on. Compressor running, fan running. Of course it is. Also, who else hates R507? Um, the high voltage system is off, so none of this can start. If I were to turn on the beater, the contactor pulls in, but there's no actual power. The control circuit's on a different breaker. All right, so we're gonna let this run. I'm gonna watch the thermal for a little bit on that contactor and Based on that dust and, and, and stuff I see, I'm thinking if we replace the contactor, problem goes away. Also, what in the world happened to this? Why would that be so mangled? That one's not. This is really sh shocking to me. Look at how burnt that right pole is. And when it's out, they're both absolutely, I mean, both of those are shot. But we're only using one pole. The left pole is all we're using. So I wonder if they had this problem previously and the right pole burns out, although I still have continuity across it, and they just moved it to the left. How did we burn the right pole? Because those red, those up top, that's your coil. So you've got your line in, your load out and that's what runs our cabinet which a nice cold I haven't put gauges on it but I'm not gonna put gauges on it until I see a reason to I can tell you it is getting cold may only say surface 71 but I can promise you 66 63 so you're getting reflections reflected heat off the top this is definitely getting cold this unit when I set it 
set it for 30 feet. It's satisfied, it's shut down. I turned it way down. Look, I have to turn it down to 10 to, to get it to kick in right now. Now, the reality is, the evaporator probably needs... Yeah. All right, so let's talk this out. There is no evaporator, right? The evaporator's in here. It needs the custard to do the heat exchange. And without the custard in there, the coil is just cold, 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 and bleeding back like this, instead of boiling off the like that. So we gotta get custard in there. The old contour contactor was on a DIN rail. I obviously don't stock a DIN rail contactor, but there's enough room to get it in there. All is secured, you can see we're pulled in. We are set for 34 and we are running. Beautiful. And the longer we run, again, this isn't gonna freeze up as bad because now we're actually getting heat exchange in the evaporator from the drain. All right, here's the way I roll. So I took the F4 fuse, there ain't one. I've run it over to a little popper reset so that if they do start to lose it, they're not blowing $15 fuses every time. We can just reset it, and if it keeps popping, obviously, we know we have a problem, but, um, yep. Oh, this was definitely the drama. I'll pry that open, let you see inside better, but. All right, I promised. Well, look, look at it. So, this left side was the active side. Melted, man. So there's your Arky Sparky. 